Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys my top seven highlighters. <laughs> Such a weird number, right? Like, how did I come up with seven? Well, the thing is, I tried to narrow it down to five, and then I like I just couldn't get these last two out, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do five and then a bonus one, but then I felt bad about the seventh. So I these are just the ones that I am rotating currently. Yes, there are some in my collection that I absolutely adore. Like, I will never get rid of them, and I go back to them often, but these are the ones that I am currently rotating and grabbing for the most. These are in no particular order. I'm just going to grab them and talk about them. My Dior Face Glow Palette. This baby is life. I adore it so, 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 so much. Like the white highlighter in here is so extremely intense. Like I just absolutely love it. And then the gold, like I'm not even going to lie. I really do not reach into these two. You can see like the little D for the Dior is still pretty noticeable, whereas this one, we are gonna hit pan so soon. These are some of the smoothest and most impactful, like they are so bright and in your face. However, you can use like a fluffier brush and make them a little softer. I wore um, my next one more softly today, just because, you know, sometimes I don't want a super bright highlight, but this, if you want something intense, so good. This is the one that I am currently wearing, and again, I have it just on a little bit softer than normal. And it's the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold Highlighting Palette. You see that I have destroyed this palette. I am currently wearing the center shade right here, and again, so intense, but then you can also make it subtle, and it's very smooth on the skin. That's one thing I like to look for is what is going to be the smoothest and not add a bunch of texture. You're going to add texture with highlighters no matter what because it's reflective, but I want to do it as minimally as possible, and this definitely does. And this works on just about everybody. Like There is something for almost every skin tone in here, and I love that. When I first saw the promo pics of this, I thought it was going to be ooh, fair girls only, but it's not. Kelsey is so mad at me because... <laughs> This, okay, this is the deal. I knew that she was going to like this. She didn't originally grab it and I was like, girl, you need to get this because I thought it was going to be so light and then it wasn't. And so I showed it to her and she was like, she has still been yelling at me, still yelling at me. She goes, I spent da -da 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 on that palette and I'm like, yeah, but Kelsey, if you didn't buy it, then you would be mad at me when you came to my house and was like, why didn't you tell me? I'm SOL either way with her, so like, I might as well just tell her. Another one from Dior, Dior Hollow Pink. This has gotten some, oh um, no, I'm about to hit pan. That's what that is. Do you see that? I am about to hit pan right here. Oh my God, I better go get a backup because I love this highlighter, absolutely love it. This is one of my absolute favorite with a pink undertone. There's not many that I really love with that pink shift to it, but this one though, oh, it's so beautiful. Why am I putting that over my tattoo? It's gonna look so weird, but <sighs> there's nothing really hollow graphic about it at all. It's just intense, the color is beautiful, and there's also hollow gold, so like if you want something that's a little darker because this isn't gonna work on everybody, hollow gold is gorgeous as well, but this is the one that I reach for. This is my favorite drugstore highlighter I have ever used, and I love this. This is from Pixie by Petra. It is the Glowy Gossamer Duo in Delicate Dew. This actually can uh, outperform some of my high-end highlighters. Not gonna lie, like this is stunning smooth. It's not as smooth as like the Dior or the like the Dior, 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 <laughs> the Dior palette or the Charlotte Tilbury palette, like those beat this a little bit, but it's still super duper smooth. I can use both of the colors in here. I like to mix them. I just think that these are beautiful and for the price tag, you absolutely can't go wrong with this. This one is so funny to me, you guys, because if it wasn't for that Linda Hallberg 306, this would have sat in my drawer forever because I bought it did not care for it, didn't understand, and now I can't put it down. But that brush, I'm telling you, if you've got some highlighters that you don't understand why others like, just get that brush. It'll change your life. Let me just show you. Just in case you aren't familiar, Melinda Hallberg 306 
perfect stiffness. It's synthetic, perfect blend, like whatever it does, it just picks it up and puts it right where you want it. So I'm talking about the Melt Stargazer Highlighter. I'm telling you, I did not like this. And then I shopped my stash one day, you used the Linda Harburg brush, and I've gone to town. Like it used to say Melt over and over on here. And yeah, that's all gone because I use this to death. This is a true like white gold. This also kind of reminds me of the Bonk Disable palette. So if you're looking for a color like that, either this one, Stargazer from Melt, or the Dior palette. But the texture on this, again, beautiful, smooth. It's blingy, but not super intense. Like, I'm sure you could use this wet. I don't use any of my highlighters wet. But it's smooth, impactful, but it's not, I wouldn't call this blinding, but it's not super natural if you build it up either. It's like right in between, so good. Two more, you guys, and this one I have a backup of because absolutely not gonna be without this. This is one of the best highlighters of all time in my personal opinion. This is Anastasia and Amrezy, their collab. It is so good, and I don't know how they managed to do this because when I saw the swatch of this, I was like, ooh, that's too gold. It's gonna be too dark on me, but it's not. Like, holy crap, like this works on everybody, and I think that it's because it doesn't have a strong base. Like, you can see through it, so your skin comes through it, but it just leaves the most beautiful, intense shine. Again, you need that Linda Hallberg brush, but oh. It's so smooth, so buttery. I need every single highlighter that Anastasia ever puts out in a single to be this formula. Just do it like, oh my God, I will buy them all. And lastly, I have one that is kind of new to my, it's not kind, it is new to my collection. And it's one of the ones I went back and forth with, but I had to put it in here because I think this is so special. Again, Dior, Dior is like knocking it out of the park here recently. This is a new one, so it's like this new kind of package here. Same amount of product, it costs less, which is nice. This is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer in Holographic Glow. I think it's number six. Yeah, number six, and this has the most shift out of a holographic highlighter, we all know they're not holographic. This one actually shifts so beautifully on me. I see pink, purple, blue, silver, and it's stunning. What I, I've been wearing this out, you guys. So it's not like you can't wear this. It's so different that it's gonna be, you know, maybe if, if your darker skin tone, it's gonna be a little bit more like blue. But on me, I can wear this out and it doesn't look crazy. And if you have this and it's a little bit too intense, all you gotta do is take a lighter highlighter, like this white one from Dior. So you just put that blue or holographic, whatever, all over and then spotlight with the lighter shade right in the center and it makes it so much more wearable. Trust me, you can do it with anything. If you have pink ones, purple ones, anything like that, just, it kinda just, I don't know, it makes it work just makes it work. But anywho, those are my go-to seven highlighters. <laughs> Let me know what is your absolute favorites down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.